Suppose for a moment that instead of wings, angels had fur. Instead of feathers, they had scales. One Twin Cities couple believes that angel animals are part of our everyday lives. Well, many pet owners say caring for an animal can improve your outlook on life. Now a local couple is making a business out of angelic animals and the rewards they bring their owners. If you're an animal lover, there's a new organization you may want to check out. Alan and Linda Anderson run Angel Animals out of their St. Louis Park home. Now, they've devoted their lives to this cause, to not only help animals, but to also raise awareness about what animals do for humans. Specifically, they believe that we have a spiritual bond with our pets and even some wildlife. Why is Angel Animals drawing media attention all over the world? Two hundred thirty five million pets share fifty eight million American homes. We are Alan and Linda Anderson, a couple of lifelong animal lovers from Minnesota. We've collected stories from all over the world about how animals are helping people in amazing ways. There are Angel Animal subscribers all over the world now. They hope sharing stories of animals being angels will decrease abuse. It reminds me of a woman who called us about uh, raccoons. She loves raccoons and uh, she f they come to her backyard and she feeds them popcorn in a box. And she said, when she's sitting there with them, she's sitting on the back porch and she's feeding the popcorn, they very carefully take a little piece of popcorn out of the box, put them in their mouth, very daintily eat them. But if she gets a phone call and has to run in the house, they <laughs> tear <laughs> When we're doing a workshop, people join in and tell their own angel animal stories. Some show photos of beloved pets. Everyone seems to have a story to tell. Some workshops include entertainment and the presence of animals. On the last section of that handout, there's a section on how are you going to use what you've learned tonight? How are you going to apply this to your life? And we'd like you to write down a sentence, an action plan, on how you intend to have more of a spiritual quality that you wrote down in the part of your life that you want in. Give an action plan. Write a sentence on how you intend to do this. And try to think of what you learned from, you know, like if you said you wanted to be more compassionate, did you learn something from a story you heard tonight that would help you to be more compassionate in your own life? And listening to these stories that uh, you two guys told just certainly made me think about ways to be more creative. <laughs> People leave feeling inspired with practical ideas from angel animals about how to improve the quality of their lives. I think it was great. First one I've ever been to and I thought it was wonderful. The workshop was fantastic. Uh, so many ways of learning about, more about myself through thinking about how animals have touched my life. Uh, anytime you have the opportunity to get with people who feel the same way you do about animals, it's a really, you know, a good evening. It's a nice evening for the animals to get out and, and be appreciated. And I'm really glad I came. It was a nice time. It's really apparent how much they care about the animals and how much they want to help them. We really appreciate all they've done. The Andersons have a book deal of their own. Angel Animals Exploring Our Spiritual Connection with Animals. The best thing that could ever happen is someone to read this book or even read one story and tell us that they'll never look at animals the same way again. About Angel Animals with Linda Anderson. It's a great topic and uh, those of us who have been and are pet owners certainly have lots of stories to share. Uh, we have some folks on the line. Margie is joining us uh, today. Uh, Margie, uh, what was your story? When our son was maybe a year and a half old, he was seen to be wandering up to the street while I was with another baby. And our black Labrador was herded him back into the house just as though he was a shepherd dog. 